Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is MG The Future. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. I believe today is Thursday, so I figured today would be a perfect day to teach you how to make a struggle type of beat. And I know you're wondering what is a struggle type of beat. Um, there's a lot of different definitions. I'll probably put one across the bottom of the screen here. However, a struggle beat to me is when you've run out of inspiration and your uh, synthetic creation ability has dwindled. So you just go on YouTube and steal ideas and put your name and brand on it and sell it to a big rapper and make a lot of money. And then most importantly, you go on Instagram and you start doing dance so to prepare for this beat is less technical and a little bit more practical so there's a few things you're gonna need you're gonna need bling and if you don't have bling rubber bands work and the trick to this particular accessory is that any chance you get just wave it in front of your camera so if, like if you have an iPad you gotta be careful not to hit yourself in the head because these are kind of heavy but you just got to hit them with a little bit of this also Depending on your fashion fashion sensibilities, you might want to wear a real polo shirt, not the one with the big horses, but at least enough to let people know that you're kind of balling just a little bit. Next, accessories. Accessories are kind of optional, but I think the more you look ridiculous, the better it is to sell your authenticity. So maybe something like this would work just a little bit, you know, leftover trinket from, you know, St. Patrick's Day. And if you got the, uh, if you got the wavies or the aviators, just go ahead and put that together too. This way, when you get your whole tire together and you get this little arm motion, it just makes the beats better. And for and for a special bonus, make sure your your your, your slippers match the polo horse. Today they're not matching. I ain't got it like that, but some of y'all do. I'm just letting you know because every once in a while you just want the camera to look at the slipper. Oh, gang, 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 gang. So keep that in mind, and then you'll be able to make some beats. Now I have Ableton Live, and what I want to do first is probably get a drum rack. I'm gonna use the push controller. I'm gonna have the picture in the picture popping, but let me just pick some random sounds. If you do have struggle drum kits from Reddit, this will probably be better, but I'm gonna use my own. I actually care about stuff like that. So we use this Georgia kick. And for the struggle beats, what they like to do is use a lot of trappy trap stuff. So I'm gonna put together a quick trap kit. And they're Jack and Manny fresh, so I'm gonna probably pick tunes that are in that pocket. All right, so we got the Sonic palette together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is when I bring out the picture in picture, courtesy of Ableton Push. So the first thing you wanna do is get the tempo right for these beats. Struggle beats are normally 140 beats per minute back in the day, but lately they've been speeding up a little bit so they sound less like struggle beats. So I would start at 140, anywhere between 140 and 156 or so. So I'm gonna do 148, a nice happy medium. And what I'm gonna do is just program this real quick. And basically you wanna program it like you have no idea what you're doing. So I might do hi-hats first. Normally people like fancy triplets and things like that. That doesn't work on struggle beats. And, and just start getting the arm waving. Like it's really important you get that early on. Okay. Hey. Hey. By this time, the struggle's kind of settling in, so you gotta liven it up a little bit. You can use hacks. I use voices. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, for this part, let me just get the shades on. It's getting hot in here. I think it's the the real horse hair on my polo. Yeah. 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 Oh. And just make sure the arm keeps moving. Yeah. If you ain't feeling it yet, bring out the slippers. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm showing y'all too much already. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to mess the game up with this. But the next part is once you got your struggle together, you want to move on to the sample. Now we use Serato sample where we're from. If you're struggling in Fruity Loops, you're probably gonna use SliceX or Slicer and that's ideal. But since they're not really chopping samples and they're just looping two bar intervals of vamps and bridge sections, what you can do is just put the song in FL Studio, chop out a two bar range and loop it for about 30 bars. Me on the other hand, I kind of, I'm kind of a struggle deviant. So I have this uh, Erica Badu joint and I, I'm just gonna use a real simple two bar loop yeah. like that, yeah. When that happens, whew, that house, yeah, you, you gotta just put the shades back on. Yeah. 
So something like that is real light. You know what I'm saying? My wrists start feeling heavy, but I would lay that down just as, as per example. Now, most people want you to add subs and stuff, but when you're making struggle beats, you actually don't know how to do that. So it's a really rocking a hard place scenario. Usually you're gonna rely on the kick sample to be an 808 that's pitched to the key of the sample. In this case, it's just an E minor scale, I believe it is. If you make a struggle beats, you normally don't use that, so you probably wouldn't be out of key when you do this. But I'm telling you based on the data provided to me, because I'm always aspiring to not struggle as much. So the next thing I wanna do is probably pull in simpler, or maybe operator, we're gonna get a nice little subtone um just to remind us of what life could be if we weren't making struggle beats so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna find the e real simple and we're just gonna lay we're, we're just gonna follow along with the vibes something real simple like that matter of fact my high is coming down because we're not looping so let's uh fix that real quick um usually when you're struggling you're not using ableton live because you have no idea what this is so i'm going to loop it here and that's going to let the two bar loop go for the remainder of the whole song yeah. just a nice little yeah. Yeah. and if you're really fancy add another note to it yeah. just a little uh-uh yeah. I think I have to get y'all to see this. So a little like that. Like that. I don't hit it twice though. Now the next thing about struggle beats, which I know is going to like plague most of the people making struggle beats, I def definitely empathize with you guys, is that you're like, all right, but what's the next thing for me? Once I've perfected the struggle, how do I go to the next level and make more struggle beats? Well, that's the beautiful thing about this technique and I should have it patented, but I don't, I'm working on that, but there's no song trust or BMI for struggle. So what I'm going to have to do is change something and it doesn't really change much. So on my drum pattern, Instead of hitting you with the boom, boom, yeah. Yeah. what I need to do yeah. is arm this track and switch it up just a little bit, just so that I could feel more confident about my career as a producer that signed to a major publishing deal. And this is how I'm going to do it. In fact, I think what's messing me up is I don't have the shades on. Like I said, anytime you're not feeling it or the vibe is not where it needs to be, you just gotta remember to show people, <laughs> you wear slippers in the house too. Those floors are wooden for a reason. So let me do that. So we got the drum pattern, nothing too crazy here. Yeah. But I wanna add a little more bounce to it. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Or maybe some doubles. Yeah. 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 Hey. We're gonna slow down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I would probably do is if that gets too repetitive, usually it's the hi-hats that really get to people, we'll pick a different hi-hat. This way, you can't tell that we really did anything. Yeah. 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 Okay? Yeah. Start moving your arm though. Yeah. Now, I got another Serato sample, and what I've done was, since I didn't grow up with this kind of music, and I was normally watching SpongeBob at this age, I downloaded all the Billboard top early 2000s R&B songs. So what we got here? I just wanna uh, make a point that it doesn't matter what the sample is, as long as you're appropriating it on wood floors. So, let's see, uh, can, can we do Honey? Can we do Mariah Carey? You know, she's really classy. She has a very expensive piano in her living room. I just want to chop this up perfectly though. Like I said, you wanna loop it for two bars, I might just hit a button. Just like that. Now, let's arm this to record. Let's change the key. I'm not feeling that texture at the moment. I think I got something. I don't even gotta think about it because these are struggle beats. 
Make sure you loop this up. Like I said, it's all in that hand wave. What I want to do now is I want to mess the game up. I'm not going to switch my 808 pattern because Zaytoven wouldn't do that. But what I would do is use a different key. This one is an A flat. You know, we could count that one, two, three, four down. And I think it's somewhere like this. So all I got to do is play it and find where that should go. A So just like that, that fast I already got another struggle beat. But there's more. There's always more struggle beats. So I want to do this demonstration one more time because a lot of people often ask me to redo the tutorials or you know to drive home a certain point. I want to make sure after this there's no questions left about what's going on in the struggle. So I want to change my hat and this time I'm gonna mess their whole head up because they got used to my sonic palette. I'm pulling out a different open hi-hat. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And I might go back to my old hi-hat. Yeah. Yeah. And then my Vox, I'm gonna have to change that up. Yeah. 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 We all get that kit that has 25 Vox and only three of them are usable. Make sure you reuse the three usable ones, no matter what. So I'm gonna do something like that. Yeah. That's, a good can that's a good candidate for perpetuating the struggle. Hey. Now for the snares, sometimes you could struggle and just put a random snare in there where it don't belong. That bounce it gives though, hey, like, like that. I'm not feeling it yet, so these are going back on. Okay, I feel it. We appropriated Erica Badu. We appropriated Mariah Carey. I would do Lauren Hill, but I kind of feel like that's out of pocket. So I'm gonna probably pick someone else. Just just for old time's sake. Who else we got in here? Monica? That's usually way before your time. 95, 96 era. You know, SpongeBob wasn't out yet. But that's how you mess the game up. Cause your publishing company doesn't think you're gonna actually know the history of the label and know what samples they can easily clear. So just mess their head up and do your Googles. So let me arm this track real quick. Okay. So something like that, something light. I mean, you don't want to overexert yourself in making these two bar bangers. Something light. Like I said, always make sure it loops up. At this point, Okay. And if you really want to mess them up, you already know what's next. But I forgot one thing. That bass. So we're an EB minor? I got it. Now, if you want a dramatic effect to really sell the record, like when it starts, drop the kicks. So a really easy way to do that is just to mute it. Let's drop the snare too. Let them keep them guessing of what's about to happen. Oh, but when you take the hi-hats out, it's a no-go. You gotta put your shades back on because you can't drop the hi-hats. That's a no-go. That's that's not what we do. Struggle on, young man.
But yeah, <laughs> my name is MG The Future. That's how you make struggle beats. I, I didn't make one, I didn't make two. I made three in less than 15 minutes. And I'm probably gonna cash out at least a quarter million dollars on this song. And when the album comes out, all the people who bought these records are gonna make the album sales increase and we're gonna go platinum in two months. You feel me? So like, I kind of feel like, you know, I got such a high off of this. Like, I feel like I can go now and just produce Chris Brown's whole 40 track album. Like, I really feel like if I really get into my pocket and I start listening to the words a little bit, maybe I could take the lyrics from old male R&B songs and make new hooks and say, I wrote that and then put it on struggle beats using Omnisphere synths, using three chords and then filter it out with RX 950 and I'll be good to go. I think I'm already platinum. That's the, and that's also the thing. You have that mentality. Like you can't be entitled, but at the same time, you're already platinum. So w when you're already platinum, you just got to remind them. Like, you know, the hi hats and the struggle is, is where it's at. Like don't let no one tell you it's any different. Don't let no one tell you that you need to learn piano and music theory and how to mix and master. Lord forbid you mix a record today. You don't want people to tell you that. But at the same time, at the same time, you ain't always got to struggle. Until next time.